All right, because I'm a little worried about not having enough content uh, through the time I'm away from the house, uh, we're actually just going to build this uh, the building thing together because uh, why not? You know, I got to take down this ugly thing anyways. I made a bunch of stone bricks to hopefully, uh, well, at least make it not look as ugly, I guess, you know? And then all of these things we need to save. Uh, I don't have any room for them in my, my backpack. My backpack's pretty full right now. So let's, uh, we'll take another chest over here. And put all that stuff in there. That was it. Why do I got a bunch of regular stone on me? Oof. I'm so sorry. If you guys are hearing that, like, weird interference, it's because I'm propping up my phone. Uh, so I have, like, a little stopwatch on there to let me know, like, hey, Dwight, you've been recording this long. Stop talking. Um, and uh, it's causing interference. Who would have thought? Uh, we're going to have a, some, some gear in here, but that's all right. As long as it wasn't, like, multiple chests full. This was a, a product of its time. Did you escape? I think you did. And we need to dismantle it so it's uh, no longer a uh, an eyesore to us. However, we're still going to have a building with uh, a big building, a big stone building here for our other mob grinder. It's just this one's going to be a uh, stone brick instead. And you know what? We might actually need to go back up there. We might need to go top down because I don't know if... I'll be able to reach or not. I can put this stuff away though. Just getting rid of him out of pure Minecraft malice. Okay, uh, let's see. I was about to break that again. I'm gonna just vein mine all of this stuff. love that this tinted glass doesn't break. It's so nice. Alright, we spent a lot of time on this too, you remember? Remember? That wasn't even that long ago. But this was the cheapest way for us to do this design. And it did great for us uh, for what we needed it to do. So... I will be happy to not hear rushing water anymore. That'll be nice. <gasps> Wait, that doesn't... Oh, that doesn't even break when you do it like... Oh, that's amazing. Blessed Earth is truly blessed. Uh, all right. So. Ooh. Oh, vein mine, you were too good. You know what? <laughs> Part of me really doesn't want to put this thing in the air again. Part of me wants to put this shit in the water. Because, like, as I'm tearing this down, I'm like, oh, nice. We can kind of, like, see out into the ocean again and... All that is so now I'm starting to think maybe whoa whoa wow <laughs> okay all right I don't have my scuba suit on not scuba Steve at the moment oh the meat mountain truly an overpowered 
meal. Put the blessed earth away. I'll put all this away too. I don't think we're gonna need the gates, but still, I'll put that away. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna have to put our little mob farm thing in the water because I don't want to look at it. I am shocked that it actually took me this long to even think of that as a possibility that you could just bury a building. I mean, we we went in here, but this was like into the island base, you know. Everything else, I was just gonna make big old buildings, but like, look at this. Let's just back up. Actually, you know what? Is this better? I don't know. <laughs> Is it better to see nothing while we're up here? Or should we put, like, stuff that actually matters up here, you know? Like, maybe we throw this underground, right? We'll do it here. And all the stuff that matters, like a smeltery, like, I wouldn't mind actually creating, not that it matters, like a little blacksmith. Uh, area with our nice smeltery and stuff. We're not really in the zone to like make anything look good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep my creativity I'll bring it back a little bit because I'm still playing around with the idea of doing a normal world modded game Where we could do all of this stuff, but we're doing it in like in a normal or or amplified like Minecraft world so we can actually be creative We don't have goals. We're not we don't have these like restrictions where we can't use like vanilla tools and all that stuff. It's just like a cool mod pack to do cool things, you know? Anyways, I need to make another cardboard box. There we go. That one's empty because we need to move this guy. We just pack him up and break him, and then we can move him. And you know what? We're just going to move him over here. We're going to put him right there. Because... I don't know what to do with all this stuff just yet, so it's just gonna hang out there for who knows how long. And I don't, I don't want to lose the cover box, so I'm gonna keep it with me. Okay, so now begs the question: Do we flatten this off? Yes, we flatten this off. Why? What am I even saying? Of course, we flatten this off. You know what? But I'm going to make an exchanging gadget. So an exchanging gadget is just like the mod of our building gadget, same thing, uh, but it does the kind of the same thing. There we go. Look at that. We don't even got to worry about power. It's already. Did I just duplicate it? Okay. <laughs> um, which, by the way, where is our building gadget? There it is. Great. That's going to be super helpful right now. Um, so it works uh, the same way, except for instead of placing new blocks down, it takes whatever blocks is currently there and it replaces them with whatever block you tell it to. Um, so right now, I think I might just place a, a thing of smooth stone here. We'll use this as a base for the next building. So I don't know really what to change it to yet. So we're going to change it to smooth stone. We're going to change this to build to me. And we're just going to do this. Right? Because we're going to go straight down. Um, and then we might as well square this guy up. And we'll take off this this little extra bit here. I don't believe we'll need that. And so the exchanging gadget is we shift right click on the block we want to replace it with, right? And it has the same menu, shift G. Uh, and we just change the range so it's a little bit wider. You can even change it to where it's fuzzy as well. We just right click on the blocks we want to replace with the other block. And it only replaces the, the type of block that we're looking at, unless you turn fuzzy on. And all of this cobble is going into my inventory. 
So I'm getting all the blocks that I'm replacing. They just go right into my inventory. And we can even clean up this top part here too. So it looks nice. Look at that. It's all uniform now. Not bad. Um, and we want these to be away from our feral lamp still. In case we wanted it to be a dark room or whatever. So we're going to hit F7. So most of the time in modded stuff, they'll have something that's called light levels. You can hit F7. Yellow is where things can spawn at night, but not during the day. So it has daylight. Uh, red means they can spawn at any point. Just like that creeper way over there is probably in a red zone because it's super dark over there. Um, okay, so at this point... Uh, at this point, I'm going to sleep. Actually, we're also going to need our scuba suit, so... Oof, too many things. So let's put this stuff away. Dangerous to hold that around. Because we got a full scuba suit, we haven't even used it. We can actually e even change our tank to a high capacity one. Although it doesn't matter, because technically we could breathe underwater. So this is better diving. Yep, better diving. So we got our pants, O2, and fins. So we're gonna take this off and put on, <laughs> put on our little scuba Steve outfit, which uh, missed opportunity to not make the flippers flap and slap on the ground. And uh, we're gonna play around with the fact that uh, hopefully we don't die. So our O2 does go down? But... You can breathe underwater. So maybe it won't matter. Who knows? Ooh, actually, looks like... Looks like we're actually using some of this zone for our storage system. So we do need to come out a little bit more. Or, you know what? No, we don't, because it's underwater. This can be the above ground thing. Looks nice and pretty. And then down here, we can um, we can start our new zone. Right? That should be good. I don't know, yeah, won't look so bad under there. And then we'll we won't be able to expand our drawer area but I think that's fine I don't think that's gonna matter too much I do kind of want to make sure that all this is filled in though just so we don't have like any rogue water coming through Awesome. It's nice actually being underwater and like being able to move around and stuff. That's it's kind of legit. All right. So, it looks like our range goes pretty far, but not We've already broken it. Great. Uh, and I'm going to just keep using iron because it's just, it's so cheap. Uh, if we make a diamond one, I, oh wait, actually, I think there might be an unbreakable one. Is it called the infinity one now? That's interesting. Yeah, another star, of course. Man, what did we do without the nether star? Was it the dragon egg? Is that what was used in everything? I don't know. Now, is this going to be big enough? So we need, we want like at least a nine by nine, right? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, great. Uh, and then this is definitely more than a nine by nine here. Uh, all right, cool. <clears throat> 
and then height wise what do we got one two three four five six seven we're at seven. Oh, no undo for this one that's right Uh, seven height. Let's go two more. We'll go, we'll go full nine by nine by nine. Just out of safety. Pull another one out. And then we need a floor. So you always got to lay down the, the, the layer you want. Otherwise, when you go to use your wand... It's probably super hard to see on YouTube. Hopefully being at 1440 will help. See the outline is pulling everything on this wall, but if you make a line... Sir, I'm trying to swim here. You could just pull this line over. And you can change the mode of this building wand, but... That's just an easier way I've found to do it. Alright, great. But now we got all this water. That we need to get rid of. Um, do we want a cobblestone top? Or do we want to exchange that? Maybe we'll just do a s stone top? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it like that. We'll do exchanging gadget. So then we could just do that and pull it, pull it all down one and it'll look good. All right, we got our box. Oh shit. Yep. Okay, we're gonna have to fix that then. Uh, shouldn't have done that. Oh. Oh boy. Ah, stop. There we go. Okay. Okay. Doesn't look that bad. We don't want uh, any empty space because that's going to create a uh, pockets. All right, awesome. So now we can grab the sponges that we have. Like we got these as rewards and we can do this. Oof. Oh my gosh, okay, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Hmm. We might need to break the water up? Oops. Maybe do something like this.
We're definitely going to need to go dry these out, though. <laughs> Is nine going to be enough? Uh, yeah. There we go. Nice. All right. So, we are clear. Says to use a hoe on these. Oh yeah, that's way faster. <laughs> Getting those ones down is going to be pretty difficult. So, um. Guess who used the wrong tool? Okay, great. And now we swim out and then we'll make a, an elevator to go in and out of there, I guess. Uh, first, let's smelt these guys in. I upgraded the one furnace I had to an Imperium one because why not? We, we have the We have the dust for it. And, uh, yeah, okay, great. I'll just leave those alone. Beautiful. Where am I going? This way. And, uh, why don't we create a, uh, an elevator, like, right here? Right? Seems like a good idea. kind of nice being underwater. I think it might be that just the night vision, I think. I'm pretty sure this is, we have night vision right now, right? Great, so this is all locked in, and we'll just use our last three. That worked out great. Uh, I guess, well, did it work out great? Yeah, it worked out great. We just, yeah, we need to bust this one. Come back up here. We look up elevator, lock, make two more of these guys, put there. Swim back up here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay. <laughs> this. 
there. <laughs> okay, fantastic. All right, and that's how we're gonna get into here. And so since this side is actually a little bit longer, our main room is gonna be over there. Um, you know, so not very, Well, it's uh it's gonna it's functional. This is what I usually cut out on these episodes, but today we're we're going going pretty open with all of it so there we go so this is a uh, gonna be our walkway into our kill room i guess actually you know what some big ass windows in here would look dope like do i have any more clear glass i don't feels bad this is awful to make you got to put glass inside of the casting basin and you got to pour it out and i don't really have a way of automating that so i have to do that manually that's uh, awful um Shit. Let's look up glass. Quartz glass. Quartz glass, I think, actually has light to it. Oh, vibrant does. Uh, let's see. Mana glass. Dark glass. Dark glass might work underwater, honestly. Uh, let's go... All right, that kind of works. Like what if we did like the floor too or something? I I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. And with the exchanging gadget, we don't got to flood the room every single time. Yeah, and after it completes, look at that, that's, that's cool. Square, please. Big window, please. Cool. Guess I gotta do those ones too. Yeah, so I can actually look down. Yeah, that's neat. That's real neat. Oh, you can place torches on it too. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. Um, might might come back and exchange those out in a better pattern this was more of a test to see what it would kind of look like but still what we need is how much of this stone do i have i have a good amount cool we need to take this chest back down, which has all of our goodies in it, which our cardboard box is in here. Come with me. Oop. Oof. <laughs> That's a little weird. Fantastic. And uh, we could drop off our wetsuit too, because we won't need that since we're not playing in the water anymore. That was actually the idea with um, this thing, is that I would keep the whole suit on here. And I want to say, like, there's a way to, like, maybe put, like, a lever next to it or something, and you could just swap the entire suit. I don't know. Do you guys know how to do that? Maybe if I just put, like, a pressure plate near it. I don't really know how that works. No? Not 
maybe if I... Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> that would be nice, though, to be able to just swap armors really quickly, because we're going to need the scuba suit, I'm sure, a lot. But uh, how about we come back uh, in next episode to where we actually make this into an actual kill room, and I'll get rid of these sponges in the meantime. Uh, if you guys like this episode, hit the like button down below, and I'll see you for the next one.